Hello everyone, it is Finplays here, back in another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, welcome back, uh, we just messed off with the 10, hitting 10,000 guys, and I am so happy. Um, today we are actually going to be doing an application center. Now this is going to be uh, from one uh, open source kit, and then one just in a little, little tiny little script that I made. But um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy, it's for people that may do cafe games or like hotel games, just an application center that works, and this is for Discord only, so it's not really different how we do it, but we're using this through Discord, so um, we're going to quickly hop into this, but uh, before we hop into this, feel free to hit that subscribe button um, and put on that post notification, you guys, it means so much to me, and we are getting close already to 1.1k so let's 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 get there first because that would be awesome um i'm gonna try and grind as much as possible uh, i have another video coming out uh right after this it's gonna be the npc look dialogue um you're gonna like it it's actually really cool and uh something cool to look at um and question is if you guys want me to do a cafe series now um it's, it might be a little tiny series or it might just be like little random like roblox tutorials uh, cause I kind of want to make some cafe stuff and, uh, I actually have a lot of it from the past and I'm ready to just like give it out to you guys cause I think it's really cool and useful. Um, so you're going to go to, uh, the description and look for models and it's going to be these few of the following. It's going to be the application center GUI and the apply script. Now you can claim both of them. Just choose which one, uh, you want. Now this is the main one right here. Um, and then this is the apply script now you don't have to use this what this is is when a player does slash apply in game it will teleport them to the application game and they will be able to apply there so I'm gonna quickly show you what we're gonna do exactly from scratch it's pretty cool how you do it um, but uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. And actually, let me just show you quickly what we'll be using. We're going to be using Disco Bytes Open Source Application Center. Um, it's basically a Roblox to Discord uh, API system where it allows you to um, create questions. It's super nice uh, format, formatted, formatted, and it'll be able to do this. Now, um, quickly talking, so you're going to go to your Discord, okay? And you're actually going to do the following. Um, you're going to create a text channel like this, like it says, and you are going to basically... Um, Create one that will be like applications, okay? And then the, for the next one, you're gonna do here, just figure that out. And uh, basically when you have this, you're gonna go to integ integrations, <laughs> where this is gonna be located inside settings. So go to your settings, and then it's gonna say webhook right here. You're gonna hit create webhook, and you're gonna name it application bot, and the channel will be for the application channel. So once you do that, then you have it, and you will actually just be, uh, grabbing the link so you'll be getting once you create the new bot it'll just say copy web uh, webhook you're all you're going to copy that and you're actually going to just uh do the next thing i'll show you in a bit here but um after we do that we're actually going to go and create the application center game so what we'll do is we will uh go here um we will hit create new experience and you know what we'll just open a roblox studio because why not um and you will basically call it application center or whatever you really want to call it so you can create new uh, base plate and this is where you're actually going to be having it so just a new thing and you're upload it as your application center uh, you're going to go toolbox go to your inventory go to uh, the application center gy feel free to grab that now inside here we have a few things we have replicated storage we have the server script service um, and then oops i'll actually just grab this and then we have the starter GUI. Now, all you gotta do is just ungroup them, of course. Pretty simple like that, and there you go, you are done. Um, now, uh, like I said, once you have your webhook, webhook URL, you're actually gonna go to this Cloud Hub script right here and paste, paste it in here. So paste it in there, by that I mean just, um, let's look at this one more time. Uh, when you copy this URL from this bot, you're gonna be putting it in the Cloud Hub right here in this webhook, and it should look like this, discordapp.com like that that's what it should look like um, and that's all you got to worry about so by that you are already done and you will just need to upload the place and put it to your uh, uh, new game but um, let's quickly look at how you can customize this and make this look nice so basically um, it, this actually kind of talked about it in setup so you can just look at this if you want again um, but basically what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna look at customizer and you know you can look at functionary later I'll explain that I guess but um, in here, you're going to actually put your group ID. This is so when it says right here, it was welcome to group application center. So go in here, put your group ID. By that, you can just go to your groups. Um, 
like this and it will just be the nine number up here so feel free to grab that and then once you have that you'll just paste it right here this is the language so if you don't want english feel free to change that but um that's basically what this will be uh and then once you have that, you can go down here and change the title. So it could say, welcome to App Center. You are applying for a rank. This you can change. I'd recommend changing it. So you could say rank mod. Um, now, these are the questions. If you want to add more questions, feel free to add a comma, add another quotation marks, and feel free to insert question. So six, what is your you whatever thing? Um, now, I'm going to quickly show you what it looks like when you actually use it. So, But let's say uh, this is what we're doing right now. Um, I'm actually going to just go quickly, pause the video, put my webhook in, and then I'll, I'll show you what it looks like in the output. So when you do this and you hit start, it should look like this. And you can click start, and it does these cool animations, and it does this and this. Um, and then at the end of it, so you just keep on doing this. Um, now, guys, you can totally customize this all you want, and I'll show you how. Um, so once you do that and it's going to say application is sending now I didn't actually add my URL so it's going to say oh no empty URL but as you can tell it will do this and then it will send it to your discord and it's going to look exactly like this so let me show you um, it is going to look exactly like this I'll put it on the screen right now um, and it's pretty cool how it works I, I honestly I love it so that's something I really like about it. But um, that's pretty much it. So now talking about customization, actually inside of here, I didn't really explain to you. You can change the background color right here. So this is gray. You can change the button color, text box, text color, text color, cloud color, loading colors, everything like that. So feel free to change this all you want. And then if you want, like in the background, you can add like the cool pattern we do for the vibe game, you know, just just feel free to edit it all you want. That's something that's, that won't break the system. But the rest of this is pretty simple. This is just a filtering service to make sure they don't enter thing anything bad but um yeah you guys so make sure to upload this and then actually talking about if we were to upload this um when you have this game uploaded um now going away away to the apply script this will be in your main game so your vibe game your whatever game cafe game this will be in server script service and basically what this is is it will teleport the player to the place when they do slash apply so if they do slash apply you're going to put the place id right here okay and it's going to teleport them to that place so by grabbing the place id you're just going to go you know to your profile or the application center and you're actually just going to paste that uh id of the one so let's say i want this vibe game kit you're just going to paste this one right here so that's the id that you're going to get and there you go you're going to put that right there and it's going to teleport that to them when they say slash apply so this is in your main game so make sure to do that so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's honestly such a super simple video and um, it's pretty important with some of the games like cafes or hotels. You can also do it with vibe games if you want, just like like rig management centers. Um, but I do have a lot more coming guys. So just feel free to stay tuned with me. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this video and uh, I will see you in the next one.